hello welcome everyone to my channel if you've already not subscribed i always have amazing content so you should definitely subscribe today we are about to build a wardrobe okay this wardrobe is very fancy and very very interesting now this is not a jewelry wardrobe or a clothing wardrobe okay so just like you have clothes for church you have clothes you wear to weddings and date nights you have clothes you wear to work and then you have clothes you wear to the market or to shop so you don't mostly wear the clothes you wear for a dinner date to the market so that's the same way we are coming to build a makeup wardrobe now today we are basically focusing on just foundations and powder so it's more of a foundation and powder wardrobe the first thing to know when building your foundation or powder wardrobe is to decide the way you like your makeup okay so for me i mostly like my makeup looking very nice but not overly made up so i can contour highlight apply bronzer eyeshadow everything but i sort of want people to see my skin under the makeup so in this look i have right here i only use the mac mineralized powder and then some little eyeshadow highlighter and then um, a contour okay so i didn't use foundation for this look so this is just a powder look but then i primed my face using the scandinavia primer and i really dabbed the powder to go into my skin and it's giving me this natural little glow that is just how i like it okay now i don't normally take this look out to church when i'm going to church i like to look good like really really good so when i'm going to church i put on my fancy foundation okay so before that i'm also going to group this makeup wardrobe into two for two different kinds of people some people like their makeup perfect like musicians celebrate some celebrities like that kind of look because you are always going on tv or you are keeping up an appearance that requires you to look perfect you you like certain looks okay and people who also work at the bank because they are coming into um contact with so many people some of them like this kind of perfect finish but the thing is it's also this is a little tricky because i may be a musician and not like that's kind of perfect look okay so it doesn't even matter i mean it's just a matter of preference to start with this i'm going out from people who have sweaty skin and also they don't really like so much product on their face but they like that flawless finish this is the right wardrobe for them okay this is the right wardrobe for such people so in this wardrobe we have the fenty beauty foundation we have the fit me foundation we have the mary Kay foundation and we have the l'oreal foundation you don't necessarily have to have all these four maybe two or three will do i do three so let me use myself as an example okay I wear the Fenty foundation when I'm going to church and then maybe date night and when I actually want to make a statement that's when I wear my Fenty foundation and then I wear the Mary Kay every day like my Mary Kay foundation it's like that makeup i'll just wear every day coming to work because it's close to the fancy but it's not as bomb as the fancy but it's equally nice so on work days i wear the time wise foundation because it gives me that 
natural look you know not overly made up but still nice kind of look here and then the um, i also use the l'oreal foundation sometimes the l'oreal foundation is almost like the fenty foundation so it's like um a drugstore effect of the fenty beauty foundation it doesn't necessarily give me the finish the fenty foundation will give me but it's not bad i use it when i run out of the fenty and i don't have money to buy then i use the l'oreal foundation okay but i mean that's why it is good to build a foundation wardrobe because it's not every day that you can wear a high-end foundation because this foundation right here retails for 270 cds and then this is 90 cds so i mean having the two just helps the america is sort of in the middle this is 140. yes you may be thinking if i buy all three found these three foundations that's a lot of money but it's also going to save you a lot of time and trouble like this three foundation can last you for a year or more because you are not using only one you actually get to enjoy each one when you want to enjoy it so let's say i want to look flawless perfect mm? i wear the fancy foundation and i want to just look like nice girl um pretty not so bad i wear either the l'oreal or the mary Kay. so it just depends on where i'm going and then how i'm feeling that day okay so the fits me and then the l'oreal is sort of the same so mostly there's no need having the two i personally prefer the l'oreal foundation to the fit me foundation but that's just for me others also really really like the fit me the maybelline fit me foundation and now the new fit me is with clay so it's not as light as how the old one used to be so if you don't like the old one you should definitely try the new fit me foundation with clay because it's a little thicker than the old one so that is it about my foundation wardrobe for group a group a foundation wardrobe i have fancy beauty i have mary Kay foundation i have l'oreal foundation so depending on where you are going and how you want to look to the place then you decide which of these foundations to wear now i'm coming to the second group now the second group of foundation is more of people who like their foundation thick like you just want one application and then you are good to go you like that perfect perfect finish now that is it for you mostly i wouldn't wear this i mean this kind of foundations make you look like flawless you just dropped from heaven okay we are all different just like i wouldn't normally wear what wouldn't i wear before i say i won't wear it and next time you see me in it i wouldn't normally wear animal skin prints okay unless it's overly nice and i really really like that but mostly i don't do animal prints so just like i don't do animal prints no matter how nice it is i'll normally not wear a thick foundation okay i'll prefer wearing a water-based foundation and building it up with concealers and bronzers and stuff just to give me the natural finish i want but some people also actually like that perfect perfect finish which is not bad it's not bad at all so for you people that like your makeup perfect like flawless no spot showing in the makeup you don't want anyone to see your skin that's perfect this is a good wardrobe for you okay these foundations are super thick not like thick thick as in too heavy to wear it's very wearable so if you like such makeup these are your best friends okay this should be your best friends okay let's 
the powder this is a powder foundation we'll come back to it later let's just do the liquid foundations for now okay so over here we have the maybelline superstay foundation we have the huda beauty foundation we have the max studio fix foundation and we have the juvia's i am magic foundation all these foundations have one thing in common they give you that perfect finish unlike the first one i showed you that you sort of see your skin inside the makeup it gives you this natural glow this one sort of just seals the look okay so let's say for very important places like church date night award shows maybe musician you are going for a show and you want your makeup to last all day and you like that kind of perfect cemented sealed finish you can get the huda beauty or the um, i am magic juvia's place foundation these two foundations are very very similar the finish is basically the same so you can get either of them but the price points are different the huda beauty is 270 ghana cds and then the i am magic is 135 but both looks are almost the same then we also have the max studio fix foundation it also gives the similar look it's thick it's perfect you have that sealed look so maybe for church and those places you just want that sealed perfect look you can wear any of these three so probably you can choose two because mac and the huda are of the same price point you can choose maybe the mac and then you add the juvia's or you do the huda beauty and then you add the juvia's so now let's say that if i'm going to church date night and places i really consider very important and i want to look my best i wear either the huda or the mac you just need one of them because it gives the same finish but if i'm going to let's say see a friend or hang out with some friends and i want to still look my best but i don't want to look like best 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 then i'll wear the juvia's okay the i am magic foundation i mean if you work it out well it will give you the same finish the huda will probably give you so either of them is fine now let's come to the second one so your second foundation that will be in your wardrobe as a sealed perfect makeup lover is the maybelline superstay foundation so the maybelline superstay foundation is also thick it gives you that sealed nice pretty look but it's not as thick and flawless as the huda juvia's i am magic foundation or the mac foundation so for you i think you can have two or three of this so you can probably do this three in your foundation wardrobe or you can do this three depending on what you've tried and what you like okay so i mean i'm sure if i were in this group i'll even just do this too because the i am magic foundation is not so expensive but gives an equally sealed look just like the huda or mac but i mean sometimes a girl just wants to spoil herself so that is it for our foundation wardrobe for people who like their makeup sealed and perfect so now let's talk about powder we know most powders give you that kind of natural finish but there are some powders that actually give you the foundation type of finish there are powder foundations there are some powders you can actually just put on and then it looks like you have foundation on so in the group of such powders is the max studio fix powder plus foundation so for people who don't like so much makeup you just want a powder to go out with you, this powder should be your friend in your wardrobe then probably yes 
you may not necessarily want to wear that all day because of the price points and probably the nice nice finish it has maybe you're just stepping out to the market but you still want that foundation like powder you can use the um, maybelline super stay powder or the um, sasha face powder the sasha face powder is also very very nice i'm not a fan of sealed makeup but i really like the sasha because it gives you that powdery foundation look it's a very nice powder so you can wear this any day anytime you don't want to have foundation on so that's it for these powders the second group just like we had for the foundation but this one is the opposite mostly people who like products in the first group that is fenty foundation l'oreal foundation fit me foundation will probably mostly like this product this powder is too much more than the other group but i think the sasha sort of fall in between the two because people who like their makeup skin like and natural and sweet will like these powders and then people who also like their makeup perfect flawless and sealed that's for the huda lovers the mac lovers the i am magic foundation lovers maybelline super stay lovers will love the mac um, studio fix the mac studio fix powder and then the super stay powder as well as the sasha face powder okay now if you just want something sweet soft and at the same time flawless then this should be your friends okay this should be your powder wardrobe so in this wardrobe i have my mac mineralized powder the mac mineralized powder gives you that natural glow effect i mean that's what i have on my face right now this is just the mac mineralized powder i just had to prime my skin well and i so much love the way it's looking okay so you can just imagine when i pair it with my fancy foundation what okay so the next one is the la girl face powder i mostly wear this when i'm just going out to see a friend and i don't really want to make up but i also don't want to go with a bare skin or bare face i put this on and then for the mary Kay, um powder um this is powder foundation also gives you that powder like foundation look and it's natural not overly beat up kind of look i just have these two in my wardrobe but if you like loose powders then i think you can rather do this too i like i prefer pressed powders to loose powders so if you are a fan of loose powders as well then you can do the mineralized powder and then the the mary Kay face powder so depending on where you are going you decide where rock what to there's nothing wrong having different foundations for different looks just like there's nothing wrong wearing different clothes to different places so you should definitely build your foundation wardrobe you should even build your eyeshadow wardrobe like you should build an entire makeup wardrobe for yourself so that you don't look the same to every place okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it's insightful if you need help to build your makeup wardrobe or your foundation wardrobe you can follow ultimate glamour on instagram i'll put their link in the description box you can go to their website and then shop for yourself and i mean just select the different types of products you would want to wear to different kind of places thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was insightful don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and you want to see more videos like this subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and until i see you again bye bye